when I was in um, master's uh, course, uh, master's program uh, in Japan, I uh, got interested in uh, Bernard Malamut. His work is basically um, in English, but I saw a lot of articles um, saying his work is um, somehow Yiddish. So I became curious about the language. In 2017, I came to Evo and um, started learning Yiddish. And um, now it's not just a mysterious language, but um, it, it's something I work on every day. This program is um, really precious. It's six weeks. Um, every day you work on uh, the class and the homework, so it's very um, challenging. But I think it's really productive. I think I um, made, uh, made progress a lot. I really um, appreciate it. Japanese literature and Yiddish literature both uh, developed rapidly around the end of uh, 19th century and both of them went through um, the tension between tradition and um, modernization. I'm really interested in um, this comparison between two different liter literary traditions. I want to be someone who can share um, the, this wonderful tradition of Jewish culture with uh, people who are not Jewish. Like if I go back to Japan, I hope I can be some, someone who shares this tradition with um, other Japanese. I hope uh, many more people study this language. It's fun. I often got a question about why I am doing Yiddish. People are very curious about that. I don't have to have a special story to study Yiddish. If you are interested in the language in some way, it's a good reason to start here.